Excuse me, baby. <laughs> this might be a mistake. But it is Camp Mid Arrival. It is 7.13 on July 1st. And a quick reminder, for those who don't know what I'm working on, I am co-writing some stories with my brother, some novellas or short stories, novelettes. Haven't exactly decided how many words each of them are gonna be, but we come up with all the initial concepts. We actually met a few days ago to go over our original ideas and then some of the ideas that I'd come up with while I was brainstorming and then some ideas that we came up with together. So all in all, we have eight total ideas. <laughs> Let's work and go. And we even have the beginnings of a flow so that all of them are even more connected than I originally imagined. I'm excited. Much thanks to Miramano in the Google Doc for helping me. Now I had tasked my brother with one other job before July 1st, which was I wanted him to send me the novelette or the idea that he was most excited to work on or just any random one. I even gave him a reminder and you know what he did not do? <laughs> send me the number. So in the meantime, we are going to do my second favorite thing and roll a dice. <laughs> As we have eight ideas, oh, little re-roll. In fact, they're kind of out of order. One, two, three, and then we have eight over here before four because we were just kind of coming up with random stuff. So anyways, as we have eight ideas, we are going to roll the eight-sided dice and see what we come up with. And to maintain the suspense even more, I am going to roll the dice, very quickly turn, get up, and get coffee. So I won't see it until I'm back from coffee. On our mark, get set, roll. Okay. And we gotta use the NaNoWriMo mug because it is time to write another novel and then another and then another and another. Okay, and we are working on number three. Let's see. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh man, okay. So here's the thing. Just vaguely looking at the amount of purple that's added, we added the most purple to number three. <laughs> this is going to act as our vampire dinner party. So it's actually a culmination of a lot of characters in my mind, it'll take place somewhere around the fifth or sixth novella in the entire collection, but it was the third idea that we brainstormed. <laughs> so it's gonna be a culmination of some of the characters we've seen before, but also an introduction to some of the vampires that we will see in the next few. It answers a lot of things, it sets up even more. It's really, it's gonna be so much fun. That means that in our shared folder, I will come up with a new file Create and share. Number three. Whew. Okay, let's get started. I think I got the first line. Okay. <laughs> We're going with this for now. A ghoulish symphony echoed throughout the house on the final chorus of ooze. The front door swung open. Kids, Dad said, pulling his 145-year-old son into an embrace. So I'm thinking this is like the doorbell. We got some, some feels. Did I name enough of these characters yet? No. David actually came up with some names <laughs> and we listed off <laughs> Buff Chad. Look, they're not helpful names necessarily. Also, this is a motherfucker. <laughs> I sent him a text at 627 and I said, David, where is the email with the text? He said he was sorry. He got back to me. He did include a Loki gif. So I suppose we have to forgive him. Let's see which one he said. Fan story. Oh, he said a different one. Do the vampire bachelor concept. What to do, what to do. Well, it is Camp NaNoWriMo. 
we're all about the pivot here. I have the opening sentence <laughs> for the dinner party. You know what that means? Hiya. Hiya. Do Google that. Create a chair. <laughs> <laughs> the vampires are hungry. 327 words for that first sprint. Heck yes. I'm also at not quite Bronte yet. <laughs> now the origin of all of these vampire novelettes is basically that David had a funny idea regarding vampires. I'd had this vampire bachelor idea that I thought was funny and then I was sitting there and I realized this might be my opportunity. <laughs> my first opportunity because it's always been a dream of mine to write a story with my, each of my family members. And as David is probably the best one to attempt this with first, I was like, do you want to brainstorm some more ideas? So I sent it to the group chat with me and David and Robert, my other brother, and we came up with some more ideas. Robert actually came up with a few premises as well. So it was a, a very collaborative. And now our goal for this vampire bachelor one is that we want to introduce a very fish out of water feel. And so these are actually going to be our oldest vampires throughout the entire collection I believe that we'll see. Um, they've been sleeping for a millennia and basically they wake up, see humans at a watch party, it's The Bachelor, and they think that what's happening on The Bachelor is how humans normally interact and thus you know, a few foolhardy ideas are born. <laughs> the most fun part for me is I get to play with this brother brother-sister dynamic, which I personally know well, though the birth order is a little bit different here. That said, they're all vampires who have been around for forever, so it's it's very fun. I hope that these first 327 words or so introduced their dynamic, um, because that's going to continue on as we get to a little bit closer to the premise, as they explore the city and come across this watch party, this viewing party. But I do want to make my first update, so... 327. I felt awesome! Whoa! Where are you writing? At home? On a laptop. Oh, that's cool. You could say where you started, but I'm not gonna do that. Update progress! Yay! Oh, I got some fucking badges! <laughs> first day update. Update your writing progress. Heck yes! Do, 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 do. Alright, I finished my cappuccino. I'm down to Bronte. And I am now at 633 words. Trying to piece together what these vampires would and wouldn't know after they've been asleep for a thousand years is really interesting. Like, do they know how to pronounce certain things or know what certain words mean? You know, they're discovering cars for the first time too. So anyways, as they're wandering down the road to Austin, Texas, Thank you, kitty. <laughs> you gonna show your, your little butthole? <laughs> Has made some very important contributions. <laughs> you gonna write my story for me? Yeah. Yeah. Breakfast of champions. And it is time for the first Twitch stream. And start stream. Go live. Hooray! The hellos are extra excited today, I feel like. <laughs> Hello! Happy camp! Yes! Yay! <laughs> First spread. All right, I am now at 1,050 words and I got another batch for updating twice in one day. So, woohoo, I have been spotted. <laughs> so we got a 37 minute sprint, a three minute sprint, and now I set them up for a 40 minute sprint. Oh, 
I bet. Precious baby Ben. Yeah. Hanging with her dad. So, I've decided the answer is, of course, more coffee. In fact, it would be so privilege not to use my other NaNoWriMo mug. You guys, we managed to do it. <laughs> and I'm at, hey, 2,065 words, heck yes! I have passed my word count goal for the day, yay! We freaking did it, oh my gosh! And we are done, and we are reading Vixen of Fiction in stream. We're gonna go to Vixen's channel, let's see, heck yes! I just clicked off of Kate's. <laughs> I was watching, I was like, can I go here? Yay! Yes, yes, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we all need to do that one. Legit, so fun. Oh my gosh, okay. Yay, that was wonderful. And actually, oh, let me see if I can finish it. What a great freaking start to Camp NaNoWriMo. I'm so excited. I think maybe a little bit later I'll do kind of what I'm doing with my um, Killer for Hire project and I'll try and clean up the Vampire Bachelor one <laughs> because I'm working on it with my brother. My goal is actually to get uh, 2,000 words a day, I think, until the story is done. I tend to take a break on the weekends, but as I'll be streaming with Cam on Sunday, I think I might still attempt the 2,000 that day. So we'll see, but because of course it's in the shared Google Drive, David will be able to read the work and I, I don't mind him reading my zero draft work. He's one of the few people that I really don't mind. But it will be harder for him to follow. I've put in brackets in, in yellow. You can see the random bits of yellow on the screen, which is just where I stopped and was like, okay, I need to insert something here, or is this the direction I'm gonna go? Like, do I need to add more context? But I don't always stop to put that. In fact, I think I had a couple times where I just like, not even trailed off, but like my brain was moving so fast with another good idea that I jumped to that. So I can flesh out the bits that I'd stopped on and just connect things a little bit better so that uh, David, if he did jump in to read it, will be like, I can at least follow where she's going with it. But this is all zero draft words. And I think that's the fun part about camp and the fun part of starting a new project during this time. So, <sighs> I guess. The final thing I want to do is update the Camp NaNoWriMo website, or just the NaNoWriMo website. 2,065 total words, update progress. Yay! Oh, and I got another badge. Write 1,667, heck yes! Are you playing with your sister? <laughs> but please do comment down below. Let me know how this first day of Camp NaNoWriMo went for you or just like how your first day of writing in July went for you. If you're not really participating in camp, let me know if you were able to achieve the goals you expected or like if you randomly thought of a new idea that you wanted to start instead. Let me know what sort of stage you're in. Were you outlining? Were you drafting, revising, line editing, whatever. And let me know if your story had any sort of surprises in store for you. Did a character act in a way you weren't expecting? Did you come up with some crazy bit of dialogue? <laughs> I would love to hear about it. But that is gonna be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you especially to some of my new patrons this month. Paula Martinez, Katie Cunningham, Addison Malvezzi, Annie Ray Lilly, Erica Rolden, Cassidy, <laughs> Shoopaloop, Seal, Katie, and Rosie JLH. And I'll see y'all all very soon with a new video. Bye! <laughs> You know, someday, little kitty, you're not going to be able to fit under there and it will be a sad day for both of us. Or maybe you always will. What do I know, huh? <laughs>